What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, there is heavy tension in the north after Nigerian Defense Academy was attacked by bandits. Fear has gripped northern governors as they have, through the governor of Zamfara State, Governor Matawali, they have asked that Bari should declare a state of emergency in the north that they are no longer safe. In Zamfara State, just um, some few days back, the father of the Speaker of Zamfara State was abducted by bandits. And as I speak to you, all of the lawmakers in Zamfara State have fled the state with their parents to probably Abuja or another destination to prevent such kind of an attack. Now, the whole place is tensed up and the governors under emergency session have asked the president to issue a state of emergency and you know they know that everything is shutting down in in the north everything has shut down there are no schools nothing no banks are opening everything is shut down lawmakers have fled the state so there is no governance so they have requested the president and you know to issue a state of emergency and you know when a state of emergency is issued then you know that the normal constitutional procedure will be overridden you get all protocol bypassed military will take over you get and so this is happening at a time when people look at the national defense academy as a symbol and pride of the nation being desecrated that if a whole major if a top army officer cannot be safe he's not safe then there's no civilians are not safe after all, they call us bloody civilians. There is no this is so I want just listen to what this man, Governor Matawali, is saying, and then have it back. You know, coming here is timely, especially because of the issues that uh, are presently enabling the state on security challenges. As you are aware, many of our rural areas is unaccessible as of today. Many banditry activities have taken over some of the areas. In fact, it was just yesterday we concluded with our repentant bandit to secure the release of the people that were kidnapped in Rini, about 83 of them which people are there to receive them from the, uh, the captives person. So, as you know, the CP will brief you on how we are working day and night just to make sure that our people slept with their two eyes closed. But unfortunately, so Muscat, who doesn't care what, what people are suffering with, are still taking laws into their hands, which it is unfortunate for the country to be having such kind of attitude. You as a security, I know you are doing your best. They are facing some challenges and some predicaments, which it has to be improved. That is the service of the security. Because it was unfortunate if this bandit can have the heart to go off to NDE to kidnap an army officers. I think the government has to look into it and maybe declare a state of emergency on security. Because some people will just be calling that the government should declare a state of emergency on education, on this, on that. But I think the northern Nigeria has to be declared a state of emergency on security. So the security can be mobilized and mop up from some part of the country to come and deal with these criminals. 
because if from Zamfara to Sokoto cannot be accessed, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. So this is not the matter of politics. As I have been said, time without numbers, that the issue of security is for all the citizens, not just for security or for government. But it was unfortunate here in the North, particularly some politicians are happy with what is happening because what they think is it was when people been killed that they may have some way to come out and campaign and black males, sitting governors, the presidents, and other politicians, which is unfortunate. And particularly here in Zambia, because, because if you look at what is happening, some of the reporting, particularly on social media, which was sponsored by politicians in the state, I was just talking to the CP that they have to go harder to such kind of people, because we come to understand if there is any attack or before the attack. There is some people that they used to post it before even the attack. And immediately when the attack was carried out, the same people will post it what happened. Who is giving them the information? How did they know these people that are going to carry the attack? What is their link between them and those criminals? So security has to look into this critically and seriously and arrest any person found guilty on such acts. Because those are the people that doesn't want this country to be in peace. So it is your responsibility to take up this matter serious and to be off to your own duty. Because you are here to protect the people's life and their properties and to arrest any criminals who doesn't show love and cares to the people of this nation. Already pledged my support to the police. In fact, just yesterday, I approved about 17 million just for operation within some communities that have been attacked. And this operation is under the commissioner of police. I just approved the money yesterday, and I believe today the money was given to the Commissioner of Police. Therefore, we are here all day, all, ni all night, to make sure that we support the security agencies, because that's why we are the leaders, and we'll continue to give all the support that needed. Whatever support needed from my government, I'm ready to do that as far as my people can have peace. So we count on you, and please, I urge you to make sure that you deploy more security, particularly on the Bakura exit, and from uh, Jambago to Talata Mufara, the colony to Jambago, off to the exit of Karanamuda. Before we open the road, but now I learned that the road is unaccessible. So if we can be able to open this important route, in fact, you have made our day if you can be able to do so. Because people now have to go through Karanamoda, uh, they'll come to uh, uh, what is the, Rawaya, maybe they will do shortcut to Nahuchi, they will follow Bungutu, instead of them to follow the other route. So please kindly give us more uh, support in terms of uh, uh, security men. We are going to give them whatever needed. All we need, all we need is the manpower, because I believe the police doesn't have much manpower in the state. So maybe if you can make a special request from the IG 
so that we can put them in some of the trouble areas. All right, guys. So you can see here that um, what the governor is saying, they are preparing to run. They want to just run away from the entire north. The entire north has been overrun. It's been overrun totally. You know, uh, but yet when people wanted to fight these bandits, these same governors kicked against. During when answers issue happened, you saw how all of them they did not even commiserate with those people who had died. No condolence, no nothing. Northern governors had a meeting condemning the answers movement and politicizing it. Now, this is what I'm just seeing happening now is nemesis that is catching up with them nemesis these people enjoy blood and so blood they will they will see blood they will not be able to withstand blood because they like blood you know that's what is happening so you can imagine the whole governors of the north asking that a state of emergency should be declared that means the system has totally shut down all operations and all all procedures of governance is totally at the shutdown, they are preparing to run, and they are running. That Abuja, they are running to Abuja to be overrun. There's no way hiding place. Whether they will go to Lagos, Lagos will not even allow them. So everywhere, look at what is that? What happened to Afghanistan? It if care is not taken, I know God will not allow it. People are going to rise up. People are rising up to confront the challenge of insecurity in the country. So what do you guys think? Please drop your comment. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.